I, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So around about the middle of August, I'll let you know that Microsoft had officially confirmed a known issue. Where according to Microsoft, just a quick recap, after installing the July 2025 non-security update for Windows 11 24H2, which if we head over to our update history, was this update, KB5062660, and any later updates, the event viewer, which is a legacy component of Windows, as you may well know, the event viewer may display an error with error ID 57, which was this error, the Microsoft Pluton cryptographic provider provider was not loaded because initialization failed. So that was the error. Just take note though, as mentioned in that video, although this event is logged in the, the event viewer, every time the device is restarted, it does not reflect an issue with any active Windows component. And Microsoft once again said it could be safely ignored. And this was the second event viewer um, issue that could be safely ignored according to Microsoft, although it was generating the error over the last month or so. So that's just a quick recap. Now just to let you know that Microsoft has updated its known issues health dashboard page to say that the issue now has been resolved. And I actually posted on this earlier today because the issue has been resolved with the latest optional bug fix C release update, KB5064081. I'll leave the video for that link down below and in the end screen because it's quite a big update and will be automatically enabled on devices with this update released on August the 29th, 2025. Now I touched on it briefly, but because it's a known issue, I like to post separate videos for known issues because obviously they do affect a lot of people. So just to keep everybody on the same page. Now just take note though that Microsoft says the rollout is expected to complete in approximately four weeks. After that, all subsequent security and non-security updates will include this resolution by default regarding the event viewer. So, so if this was something that was annoying you, then just make sure you've got this update installed because that will hurry up the process. And that was affecting Windows 11 version 24H2. So nice to see, although that was the second issue with Event Viewer, that Microsoft has been quite quick to roll out a fix for that little bug. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.